guys, this is CJ and I'm the Blender Killer. Welcome to your second tutorial on how to make a first person shooter in Blender. Now last time, this is uh, kind of what we left off with. Press P to play. Okay. There we go. We left off with this. Well, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to, uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how to add a camera so you can, uh, look around, um, in your player. Oh, and you can also, like, press space to jump to. Okay. So, uh, first of all, now this is my preference, um, I want to kind of uh, make him a little sized up, so uh, let's just take him on the y axis. Kind of make him like that. That'll still work. Hmm. See, when it's doing that, um, we're gonna do it here. There we go. So, if you're gonna change the shape of your player, I guess you want to um, add a collision bound box. There we go. So, make sure to add that in physics. Okay, so now we're going to add a camera. Now remember, the green side is our face. So we're going to be adding the camera facing this way. Okay, so uh, click on your character. And then um, shift S. And uh, cursor to selected. And that brings this little 3D origin to... Or not the 3D origin, but the 3D cursor to the character. So now when we... Um, Press space to search, and then add camera. Camera will show up right there. Now it looks a little wonky, so what you're going to do is you're going to press Alt. Um, uh, one second here. I'm going to turn on. Let's see, where is it? Uh, one second, guys. I'm going to pause the video. Never mind, guys. I uh, just figured out that in the new version of Blender, screencast keys has been removed. So I can't really show you which buttons I'm pressing. Um, but I can tell you. So to uh, fix this rotation, you press Alt R. And that fixes the rotation for you. And then um, we just want to move it up. So we press R to rotate. Then we want to rotate it on the x axis. We rotate it um, 90 degrees. So there we go. Move it up. Um, well, I, I have my uh, snap tool on, so it's snapping a little bit. And let's just size this camera down a little bit. Um, now you don't have to be like, you don't have to have your camera right in front of your person. I mean, a good idea but you don't have to have it like inside the person so now you see if we press zero to go into our uh, our uh, camera and then press P now you could uh, see what's up here okay that's working Oh, I know what's happening. Uh, okay, so you got to click on the camera, then shift click on the player, control P, and set parent to object. So click on the camera, shift click on the person, 
they just press control P and then set parent to object. So now if I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, uh, no wait, never mind, that doesn't do anything. Okay. So now you can kinda see how that's working, but when we move our mouse, it's still not moving the player. So how do we do that? Well we click on our player. Uh well I guess we could we could shift click on our camera too. So with your player and your camera selected, go down to player right here and add a mouse sensor. Now you might be wondering still like we're not doing a lot in Python yet, but trust me we will. So um with your mouse uh with your mouse thing selected, let's just make this mouse look. Okay? And then go from left but button to move it so it's gonna be sensing whenever we're moving our mouse. Bring that down and then go up to player add actuator and add a another mouse actuator. And this is a new, this is a cool thing that they just put in Blender. Uh, it is a uh, mouse look. So you click on that and we want to rotate on the I think it's the Y axis. Uh, let's just click on well, okay, so whatever we click on, that's what it's going to be rotating. If that's the... Uh, okay, so right now we have both of these. Right? So if we press P, it'll move the whole character. But that's not what we want. We don't want the character to move. So we want to unselect one of these. Uh, I think it's the Y axis. Yes, unselect the Y axis. Because then we... Uh, uh, you see, we could uh, move our character with our mouse. We might want to bring down the sense sensitivity to 0.5 and then to move the camera up and down because we don't want to be moving our player up and down we go into camera just put these down go to camera and add a mouse uh, an actuator so you don't add anything else but an actuator a mouse actuator make it look and then deselect the x axis and make this 0.5 so then let's go back into our player and we want to connect this to the mouse's end so there we go so we have so now if we go into our character and we press P we can look around and move so there we go that is uh, something this is something that's pretty cool. Uh, you're gonna need it for the game. Um, if you want to like make a uh, third-person game, let's just see. Let's move our camera a little bit up, back. Is that good? Nope. That is not good. No. Let's move it back. Right, what a. I'm just experimenting right now. So to be honest, I, I, I don't really know how we're going to be positioning it if you want to make a third person game. Um, I would just... Uh, put this in the player for right now unless you can find a way you want to position it we'll just leave it like that okay so this is the end of that tutorial uh, please like and subscribe and if you have any questions please comment I will, I will answer you and uh, I think I'm going to be releasing two videos today uh, maybe a couple just to speed up the process uh, because I know that this is a new series so there's, it's a new time so there's not going to be a lot of people watching it yet so I'm, just so you can get a little bit more down I'm just going to be making a couple more videos today so then I guess I will see you in the next video uh, if you have a question please comment um, and comment what you want to know and
and um, I will try to make it possible. I'll do what I can. See you in the next video.